What's going on, guys? It's Simo. So today we are going to be showing off some Master Duel ranked play, playing one of my all-time favorite decks, which is Pure Zodiac. So this is the list right here for you guys to go ahead and copy. If this is your first time playing a deck like Zodiac, we're going to go ahead and go over the card by card before showing off some of the gameplay for you guys to be able to see how the deck works and maybe pick up this deck for yourself. We're also going to discuss some budget options as well, because this deck does have a fair bit of ultra rares. And so if you don't have the gems for it, we do have some budget alternatives. So Zodiac is a deck focusing around the Xyz summoning mechanic. Now, most Xyz monsters require two monsters overlaying on top of with the same level in order to summon, but Zodiac's a little bit different. Zodiac only requires one monster to overlay as long as it, of course, is a Zodiac monster. So what you're able to do is you're able to go into all the different Zodiac Xyz that are down here in your extra deck, most of which are pretty low rarity, and our main win condition is Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder. Now, this card is an absolute house. If you've never seen this card before, once per turn, if an Xyz monster battled this turn, you can also Xyz summon Zeus by using one Xyz monster you control and transfer all of its materials to that card. You can detach two materials from this card, send all other cards from the field to the graveyard. So how this deck is going to work is that you're going to want to aim to blind second when you do win the coin toss. And then your opponent's going to do what they do. You're going to use your handful of hand traps to slow them down so you can get to the point where you can just summon any of your Zodiac monsters, overlay into Zodiac Borbo, which has the ability to attack your opponent directly. Then since you battled with an Xyz monster that turn, you can then start overlaying multiple copies of your Zodiac monsters with different names on top of one another, ultimately ending on Zeus. Now, Zeus is also not a once per chain effect. So if you lay four materials underneath the Zeus, you can use his effect twice to send all other cards on field to grave. But if your opponent even has a response, you can chain it in the same chain and make sure that the effect resolves. Then on the following turn, you just summon a zoo and you are able to easily clean up the game from there. We'll show that off in the gameplay, of course, though. Let's go ahead and do the card by card for some more specifics. Now, these are some of the more expensive cards you're going to need up here in the first 11 cards, which are your hand traps. Three copies of DD Crow just for banishing stuff out of the opponent's grave. Very good against Eldritch decks and other graveyard reliant decks. Three copies of Maxi. If there is an ultra, you probably do want to craft. It's probably Probably this one because this is arguably the best ultra rare in the entire game just because it's going to be used in almost every single deck anytime your opponent special summons you get to draw a card just a fantastic card and a very annoying card to deal with ash blossom and joy spring is another card that you probably want to craft as soon as possible you do get one of this in one of the uh, packs in the shop so you can get that rather easily the other two though you're probably going to have to craft just a very generic card for being able to stop multiple effects and skullmeister is also similar to dd crow for negating effects that activate in the graveyard. Then you have your Zodiac lineup. We have one copy of Bunny Blast, which is able to get Zodiac cards back from the graveyard to the hand. Whip Tail, which can attach itself underneath one of your Zodiac Xyz monsters and can banish stuff in battle. Thorough Blade, which is arguably the best one. You typically want to start with this as fast as possible because of that 1600 stat line, but also because it can cycle a Zodiac card from your hand to the graveyard and draw yourself a fresh card. Then three copies of Ram Ram, because when it's destroyed, you're able to special summon a Zodiac monster from from the graveyard. For the spells, we have a Pot of Avarice because Zeus is at one, and because you can overlay these Zodiac monsters on top of each other, it's so easy for you to be able to just recycle your whole graveyard and draw two cards. Three copies of Pot of Desires because you don't care about most of the cards in your deck. This card just reads draw two. Three Tanky because it's three more copies of any of our Zodiacs. Three copies of Forbidden Chalice, a very flexible card that can be used in a myriad of different ways. You can do stuff in the damage step. You can negate opponent's effects. Very good at stopping what the opponent may have to make Make sure your Zeus resolves. Three copies of Twin Twister and three Cosmic Cyclone. The higher up you go in competitive, the more you're going to run into decks like Eldritch that are playing back row and having these is pretty good. And then three copies of Infinite Impermanence. This is another set of hand traps that is ultra rare, but it's a very good card at stopping your opponent, especially when they are going first. Now, if you can't afford all the ultra rares that this deck has, you can swap them out for some lower rarity cards and maybe opt to go first instead of going second. You can play cards like Book of of Moon. You can play Compulsory Evacuation Device, Torrential Tribute. All of these cards are good at being able to just keep your opponent off of their plays. That way you can establish your Zeus, which is ultimately your win condition, and then follow up on the next turn by being able to kill them with some of our extra deck monsters. Mainly, the most important one is Zodiac Chalkanine. Chalkanine can detach a material to special summon a Zodiac monster from the graveyard. You can bring back Thoroughblade, then overlay your copy of Drill Driver Vespinado on top of the Chalkanine, making Chalkanine a 25 
1200 attacker plus the 1600 from Thoroughblade is 41 plus Zeus is an extra 3000 is 7100 damage and remember you attacked your opponent with Borbo on that first turn to summon the Zeus so you've already gotten a little bit of damage in there so you should be able to win in two turns and quickly make your way through the ranks that's it for the deck you guys it's pretty straightforward fairly linear for anyone who might be a new or returning player so that way it's not too overwhelming and Zeus is such an oppressive overpowered card that this card is going to steal you win after win that you are going to climb through the ranks with ease and hopefully the gameplay demonstrates that and we also threw some funny moments in there for you guys as well so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy okay after this game I'll go back to the deck this guy's silver three we will happily go second I think that we've only won like two coin tosses this entire time Sounds about right for my luck. I think the preparation of Wright's board is so cool. Alright, only one hand trap. Not ideal. Oh! GKs, huh? Okay. Necro Valley doesn't do too much to our deck. Yeah, be sure to share if you play, chat, you know. I don't know. I don't know what that set card could be. Necro Valley only really hurts Chocanine. Ooh, Tiger Mortar as well, I think. That might be a problem. Hmm. We're fine. We're fine. Let me double check Necro Valley. I don't remember what errata this card is on. Cards in the graveyard cannot be banished. Negate any card effect that would move a card in the graveyard to a different... Yeah, okay. That, there's no way Chalk and I and uh, Tiger Mortar work through that. All right. Well, uh, doesn't matter, honestly. Let's just run out the blade. Um, I actually want to keep the Whip Tail in case the Thorough Blade doesn't stick. Same old play as before. Necro Valley's good, but it doesn't stop Zeus. It's a nice spy you got set there, buddy. What's he got? Nothing. Okay, we made it this far. Question is, does the person know that Zeus is a card? They have interaction, but they just haven't done anything. Anything? Nope, all right, moment of truth. Do they play a real card? Nothing. Okay. All right. We did it. Um, I think I want to Zeus now so I can set all my back row. So let's do that. Um, they have something. This is going to bait it out. Oh, that was easy. What do we get rid of? Necro Valley, right of... Oh, this poor soul. They're playing, like, old Gravekeepers. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, all right. Well. You know what? I'll keep one Imperm, just in case I, like, Zeus myself for some reason. But I don't think we're losing this game, chat. I shouldn't say that. The last time I said we shouldn't lose, I got double fucking chalice. So, <laughs> okay, Necro Valley off the top, sick. How do you get a super shiny Zeus? Uh, I got mine literally crafting a Zeus. 
I guess there's a chance when you craft the cards that you can just get them at shinier rarities. Gravekeeper's Headman. If it's summoned, target level four Gravekeeper in your grave. Special summon, attack, or defense. You can only use this effect of Headman once per turn, unaffected by Necro Valley. Um, I kind of don't care about that, but just to be safe. Okay, chat. I'm activating Chalice this time. He has no cards in hand. There's no way this can backfire, right? Okay, so the Headman's a thousand. Uh, I actually think I have to Zeus to win next turn. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. not ideal, but... Okay, don't need that. Go for the chalk. Uh, I'm doing this. I think I'm doing this right. Whatever. I'll get punished if not. Attach, get the Thoroughblade. Uh, no. The effect's negated anyway, so we can't even use that effect. Uh, then we just make Vespinado, and that's game. Assuming I can do math right. Share if you play Gravekeepers. Oh, hell yeah. We're a master of special summoning. Okay, this hand looks much better. All right. Oh, we're going first again. Okay. Well, at least we have plays. And this is where Ash Blossom comes in. Um... I go for Ram here, right? Yeah, we go for Ram. Go one. Uh, we got what, two Kongs? Yeah, we can use a Borbo here, that's fine. There's only one Zeus, so like, And we go like this. And where's good old Dryden? There we go. All right, we actually have a play this time and follow up. And hand traps. This is what this deck is supposed to do. If it's another mirror, I swear to God. They won the coin toss and made me go first, so it's very likely. Simo playing Zoo, the classic from 2017. Sir Eminon, this is probably like the only deck I remember how to play. If I'm being completely honest with you. And it's not even like the same deck, right? Like Zoo from 2017 plays nothing like Zoo, how Zoo plays now. <laughs> Mainly because Zeus exists. That's the main reason. Uh, what? Can I fucking out Chaos Max? Oh, 
Fuck me. I don't think I can out the fucking chaos. Oh, Zeus can out chaos max. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Blue eyes in hand and chaos max in hand as well. That's the fucking combo right there. Opponent cannot target this card, cannot be destroyed. All right, perfect. We're fucking screwed here. Yep. <laughs> and piercing, forgot that part. Well, he didn't have two of them. Pass, please pass, please pass. Fuck. This is Cyclone, right? Okay, I can Cyclone it. Okay, don't really want to pay the thousand here, but like I kind of have to, so. Another chaos form, excellent. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, okay. If he has Ash, we actually just lose the game here. Um, does this matter what I get? I'm just making it into Zeus, so I guess we just get Thoroughblade just to get a big guy. And Captain with the sub, appreciate it. All the love from you guys today. Super grateful for that. All right, let's summon our, uh, Blinged out Zeus, shall we? Yes, I would like to attack my I do not I would not like to attack my opponent's chaos max, preferably. Okay, we're going the distance, chat. Okay, so that's three. That's four. Oh wait, I already used the Dryden, didn't I? I could Vespinato. I'm not gonna be that greedy. Bling. All right. So, it's four mat. I can't Avarice because I'm at four. I'm actually kind of tempted to Zeus now just so I can Avarice and draw into some uh, Disruptors in case he gets, like, some other, like, thing to do with this. Um, It's not ideal, but I think I am going to do that because I want to get the draw off Avarice. So, let's put these two into the grave. Okay, now this makes the Avarice live. Usually I want to save this exactly for Zeus, but in this case, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave the Thoroughblade in Grave as well, because then I have follow-up with uh, Chocanine uh, for, like, Vespinato. So, that's pretty good. Okay, that's why we did this. Okay, he's got three cards. There's no chance we're dead here, right? There's no ch- Okay, that's what I thought. All right, can we clean this up? We have Tanky. We have a Thoroughblade Engrave, so we can make- We actually have exact game. Because we can go Thoroughblade, we can get Tiger Mortar to get the other Thoroughblade, and that's actually lethal. I think we can also play under Nibiru, too. Uh, let's just use one of these, because we have a bunch of them. There we go. And then let's get the Tiger.
Detach the boar. Detach the mortar. Or the thoroughblade. And there we go. Unless fucking... Unless there's gores. Fucking chalice with like the damage step checks. There we go. All right. We almost lost to Chaos Max. That would have been a uh, disaster. I'm going first. Interesting. My opponent opted to go second. That could either mean they know what they're doing or they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh God, this hand. This hand's good, but it's like, ugh. Uh, we just go set two and pass. Hey, Captain Swag with the sub. Thank you so much. Sh chat, should I keep the toggle on on? Or is like, or is like auto better? On is just like for every action, right? See, the problem with playing a real deck... Oh, the, oh shit, it's a fucking mirror? Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember how to do this shit. Do I max C preemptively uh, to stop him from... Well, if I max C, he doesn't just summon anything. So, no, that's fine. Hey, Doth Curse with the 500 bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no. If you want to go into Zeus here... Well, wait. This doesn't make sense. If, why would you do this? I guess. Okay. This is just weird sequencing. I feel like you'd want to attack, then make Zeus, clear my board, then set your back row. What? What? <laughs> okay, so this person has a whip tail, but I... I don't know if they know what they're doing. <laughs> or maybe this is to play around my board, potentially. Uncle Brian with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Hope you've been well, Uncle Brian. If that's the Uncle Brian, I think it is. Well, you know, as funny as Whiptail Beatdown is, it's actually working. So... I have no starter, and this deck plays like 16 of them. So yeah, this is going well. I'm doing- I did better in the last game! <laughs> like, if you were to try to go up for Zeus, at least I could have, like, max seed him. Okay, Ram Ram. Ram Ram is fine. This is literally Zodiac Beatdown! I have no- I can't do anything against this. This is literally just how you win. You just don't exceed someone, and then I can't do anything. <laughs> I might legitimately set Ash next turn. I'm like, I'm considering it. Okay, please give me a starter. Let me see a zoo, a tanky, just something. I need something. <laughs> or they just take so long to do their turn that they just lose by uh, timeout. Maybe stream sniping? I guess. Oh, here we go. They're finally making something. Okay. Okay, going into hammer here. Uh, no, that's fine. It's so awkward with Zoo, because it's like... All of the specials are inherent. So it's like, if he goes Chaka 9, like, that's like the best point to max C. He didn't attack with an Xyz monster either, so he can't make Zeus. So, like, if he just, like, goes up into stuff here, like... Oh, well, there she is. I mean, I have Chalice for her, so, like, I'm not that concerned. An Xyz monster whose original type is Beast War and has its material gains this effect. Okay. Please... 
No, that's fine. Yeah. Hammer Kong is mandatory. Detach. Okay, thank God for that so I can actually target the Dryden. That would have been a disaster. Give me a starter. Thank you. Oh, wait. He can just... Oh, wait, no. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, not in the Imperm column. Okay, he didn't... He didn't pop the tanky with Dryden, so that's a relief. Okay, um... I think we go Thoroughblade here. I just want a bigger guy than him. That's, like, the main thing. Okay, he let that go. Okay, so I think the plan now... I almost actually want to just go straight into Dryden here. Because there is an advantage to doing that. I also sort of just want to attack with this Thoroughblade because I almost don't want to just play into any of his back row. I kind of just, like, want to attack. Hmm. Let me think. Let's do this. I don't really want a Borbo. At least yet. Uh, let's go Hammer here. So didn't do anything there. Um, I think we can go for Dryden here. Because I want to be able to keep uh, the Thoroughblade under the Dryden. That's the idea. This should provoke a response, I imagine. Okay. Um, that's actually fine. It's not in my imperm column, but I don't care because I can just use my own Dryden effect here. He can chain his Dryden and, like, pop my Tanky for all the good that's gonna fucking do. I actually get Dryden back from this Compulse, so, like, that actually is kind of good. I need another monster, sadly, but... I mean, he just has Hammer Kong now, so, like, that's fine. You're going to Whip Tail your Hammer Kong. That is fine, because end phase, you're going to be forced to detach it. So... We just pass here. End phase Kong. That's actually good for us. I think we'd be in actually way more trouble if this person had a better idea of what they were doing. I still need a monster here. Like, our back row is actually pretty good for this situation. If we can get a monster, we should be fine. This guy has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, sadly. They have, like, the zoo deck built. Um, but they just... This is just someone who's just very unfamiliar with modern Yu-Gi-Oh. You aren't going to find people who know what's up until higher ranked. Yeah, I could imagine. Hey, Luke's in chat. What's going on, buddy? Sure, buddy. You can hit me for four with your hammer, Kong. That's fine. <laughs> Argerate. Uh, apologize if I... Uh, what's your name? But thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. At least the nice thing is I can just hang out with you guys while we're talking. Oh, he's actually going up. Chaka 9, Chaka 9, Chaka 9, Chaka 9. Oh, oh wait, he attacked with something. Oh, but it has no materials. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, it's 3k. He's going to start doing a lot more damage with this thing. 
Okay, monster please, monster please, monster please, monster please. Oh shit. Um, this is a problem. <laughs> huh. Um, okay. I think I know the move here, chat. I think the move <laughs> is to set Crow and pass. I just need, I need to just get a starter and we're good. I just need a, I just need a starter and we're fine. Can Simo defeat the one material Zeus? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I'm getting punished for not cycloning the back row. I actually thought about it. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's good, bro. <laughs> Please tell me this is your only monster. If this is your only monster, I'm I'm cool. Oh, oh, he's pitching it. Oh, he's pitching the fractal. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I. Oh, do I ash? Yeah, I probably ash this. Right. I don't want him sending more shit. Yeah, let's let's ash this. He could have just summoned it, and that would have been actually way worse for me. <laughs> that would have been game. Literally, I think I was dead if he normaled the Fractal. Yeah, I was dead. I had no way to stop that. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, so I'm not dead here, but this isn't good. He has a lot of guys in Grave, so he can go Karis Effect here. Okay. So he's going for a Shurag here. As much as I would love to max C this, I actually can't. Uh, Cause I would just die if I did. So <sighs> what do I value more? Imperm or Chalice? I don't like the attack gain on Chalice. So I th actually, it puts me at lower life. So I think I'm gonna Chalice. So it gives him a bit of a boost here, but I think it's better to do that now when I can afford to take the hit. Deserved. Deserved. So the problem is when we play like decks like this, we have so many dead cards. Like something like Crow just isn't good against like a lot of rogue decks typically. How much money did I drop on the game? I've actually only dropped a little bit because I, uh, I made a video of just talking about like some of the opening packs and stuff. So I've only dropped like probably like what you'd spend on like a regular title. Uh, like, so like 50, 60 bucks or something. Cause like the gems are actually, ooh, Ray, that's fine. Oh, we have, see, this is where Crow is good. Shizuku pass. Uh, okay. This is fine. I think I Ash Suzuku here, right? Stop him from getting um, Engage. Um, do I want to Imperm this instead? If he hard draws the Engage, then Ash is better. So actually, I think I Imperm it instead. And I have Crow for the Ray, so I can actually really fuck this up. Uh, fuck him up. Or her. It's Paul, though, so. <laughs> okay, another Imperm. 
Let's see what we get out of him with this desires. Show me the ash. Show me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That is fine. All right. Uh, what do we banish? Nothing too important. That's good. Okay. Bring out the whip. We just go straight for Zeus here. That's why this deck's so good. You just make Zeus and they don't have a response. You just win. He could widow me here, but he has no spells in grave. So like that would just negate uh, my effects. All right, I mean, we'll try. What do you got? Okay, so definitely want to go for four materials here. Does play a bit into nib, but honestly, if he nibs, like... Uh, how bad is Nib, actually? Uh, I mean, it's Striker. Nah, we'll go for it. We'll go the distance. All right, uh, let's throw down Tiger. They're thinking on something. Go hammer. They're going to think for another 10 minutes. How many zoos in the main deck? There's like 13 or like 15. I don't remember. Sign in FX with the sub. Appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Having a good time. Man, they're really thinking about this. All right. Uh, let's try it. What do they got? Strike? If they have strike, we're just fucked. Let me think. I kind of want to activate now, just in case. If he has, like, a Widow, I want to get two act- I want to be able to bait Widow out now if he has it, because that'll negate this, and then we can hit him next turn. So I'm actually going to do this now. He'll have no cards after this. Oh, see? That's why we do it. I mean, I guess he couldn't have Veiler on his own turn, to be fair. So. Um, we can just chain again. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Now we'll have no cards. Straight up just top decking. Do you have that? Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, I don't want to crow yet because I don't want him to know I uh, have it. So that's fine. So I guess I fucked up. If I did this on his turn, he would only have, uh, he wouldn't be able to Veiler me. But, yeah, that's fine. Uh, now we just set and pass. He's drawing with no cards. He has to clear my Zeus. Even though it has no materials, it's still just big. I have Ash for any live draw that he has. So, like, I'm feeling okay. What can he do? He can, like, Kagari add the Anchor back, but that does literally nothing for him. He can Hayate dump Engage. Which it looks like that's probably going to be what he does. Part of me almost wants to Imperm Hayate but I'm not going to do that.
I can also just DD Crow the, uh, oh, send the Afterburner. Okay. That's how he's going to kill the Zeus. Yeah, maybe should have imperm the Hayate. Then he couldn't do that. Kagari's back like Widow Anchor. I can just imperm the Kagari, though. So. Basically the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chain this here. Uh, it's Themis. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. So now we can go for Shizuku. Get engaged, and I have Ash for engaged. So like, cool. That's fine. Yeah, I guess it can freeze me with Kaina. That's kind of annoying. Any live draw would be sick right now. Potato, potato with the sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I think I actually asked Shizuku. I don't want him to get engaged because then it's a lot easier for him to keep it in rotation. So I'm actually going to ask Shizuku so he just doesn't get a chance to get it. We still have a bit of a climb here, but if we get any zoo, I think we're fine. He still has a back row, but like... Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Now we have to make a decision. So if we don't commit here, man, it doesn't feel good no matter what. If we don't commit, he can just run the gamut again, but he only has one Kagari, so Kagari's gone. I could actually just go Dryden. Dryden pop Shizuku. I can crow the ray so he doesn't get it back. He gets one draw off of that. My Dryden has no material. And then he's drawing for turn, so they get two cards. It's such a tough call. If I don't deal with this, he's going to just get the value anyway. Because he can just go Hayate Shizuku again. Yeesh. That's a rough one. I think I need to have a material. I think I need to at least do the Dryden. This is such a bad idea, but honestly, I don't think I have much of a choice. Um, he's at how many spells? Two. That's not terrible. God, it's just, there's like no good solution here. I fucking hate Maxi so much. So, so good. Here it is, five for Avarice, right? Yeah, he can Avarice anyway. Um, I might just actually just leave Dryden like this and like let him... Let's see what he does. I'm actually just going to leave it like this. This also plays around if I gave him a Veiler in hand. Um, but then if he drew Widow Anchor, then he can just negate me. So. If he goes like Hayate, I can just pop Hayate. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we'll try Dryden here. Does he have a response? He does not. Activate Ray. Chain the Crow. ZDH Gaming with the sub. Thank you for the support. I was looking all the way in his grave, and it's a top card. It's cool that they show you, like, which one is activating, so that way you know. K 
Okay, second main have no cards. Just you drew a hand trap and you're passing. Oh shit, let's go baby, let's go, come on. If you have max C again, I'm gonna fucking cry. All right. Okay, so Zeus can attack this turn. Uh, I believe I have a Thoroughblade. I technically have game. Oh no, this isn't game, it's just shy. I can, ooh, how much does 25 plus 16, 41? I actually do have game here. Let's see if this, if this baits anything. Uh, let's go for, I could go for Ram. Ram's not too bad. Davy Donuts 101 with the sub. Thank you for the support. We're struggling over here. Uh, we'll go. We'll go. Blade. Blade's fun. Okay. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. So the the strat we can do here is. We can go Chalk. And that actually played around Max C a little bit. Because he probably didn't think I was going to be doing that immediately. So we can go Chalk, um, bring back Thoroughblade. Which actually we could have just normal summoned Thoroughblade now that I think about it. And that actually would have really played around Max C. Um, do I just do that? I can just go straight for Vespinato, right? I can. Ooh. I think we just do that. Because then we can just normal the blade. And that's game. Yeah, let's do that. Probably shouldn't have done that first, but whatever. Um, We make mistakes. It's fine. I'm playing around Maxi at this point. This sequencing is shit. I did this so poorly. Because now he knows exactly what I'm doing. If he can do anything about it, that's a different story. It's game on board. Wrong attacker. I meant to do that with Thoroughblade first, but that's fine. Shark Cannon. Does he have three? Afterburner, Widow Anchor. He only has two spells. Sure, banish my ash. Thank you. All right, we did it. That was an actual opponent, too, so that was good. Good games, Paul.